Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Heavy lift helicopters play an irreplaceable role in the US military. Although they cannot match the speed of a fighter jet or carry the same amount of equipment as a cargo plane, their ability to take off and land vertically, along with their hovering capabilities, makes them a force to be reckoned with. Over the years, the U.S. has developed several heavy lift helicopters, and one of the most notable ones is the CH-53. The first of these helicopters, the CH-53A, was introduced in the early 1960s which proved its efficiency during the Vietnam War. It could carry various payloads, like 38 fully equipped soldiers, an internal cargo load of 8,000 pounds, and an external load of 13,000 pounds on the single point sling hook. The US military felt the urge to lift additional weight, so they decided to develop an enhanced variant the CH-53D Sea Stallion. It improved engines, transmission, and a revised interior to carry up to 55 soldiers at a time. This helicopter was so powerful that it could take off with a maximum weight of 42,000 pounds. However, with an increment in logistical operations, the U.S. military decided to develop a new variant, the CH-53E, with an additional third engine, which ultimately increased its power and capacity to lift heavy cargo. It was capable of transporting up to 30,000 pounds of cargo internally and up to 36,000 pounds of slung loads externally. On September 22, 2023, the Marines showcased the CH-53E's heavy lift capability by lifting a joint tactical vehicle and an M777 howitzer during the Miramar Air Show in San Diego. The recent decades have shown a marked increase in the use of heavy lift helicopters, particularly due to their payload, range, and performance. This increase in demand prompted the U.S. Marine Corps to develop the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion. Featuring new engines, composite rotor blades, and a wider cabin to replace its heavy lift workhorse, CH-53E. The Kilo feels great uh, compared to the Echo. Uh, it does feel different. Um, it's much, uh, it's very intuitive. Uh, you do have to work less to fly it. Uh, it's a lot more systems intensive, but uh, the systems are very easy to use and, and they're very quick to get used to. The CH-53K is not equipped with built-in weapon systems. However, the U.S. Marines can fire at ground and aerial targets using GAU-21 50 caliber machine guns mounted on the left and right side doors. These guns can also be mounted on the cargo ramp of the CH-53K. The gunners undergo extensive training fire several rounds at ground targets to prepare to defend themselves in a hot zone while transporting cargo. To fire machine guns on targets, the maneuverability of the helicopter must be very precise. 
This is where CH-53K really changes the game. It has an advanced fly-by-wire technology that provides optionally piloted capability and autonomy. It reduces pilot workload and minimizes exposure to threats and danger, particularly during complex missions or challenging aircraft maneuvers. This allows the pilot to manage and lead the mission, rather than solely focusing on flying the helicopter. The CH-53K has an impressive external lift capacity. It features two hooks rated at 25,000 pounds each. The maximum takeoff weight of this helicopter with an external load is 88,000 pounds which allows the U.S. Marines to transport troops, weaponry, and heavy vehicles from one place to another. On September 5, 2021, the U.S. Marines took two CH-53K to the White Mountain Range, 20 miles to the north of Bishop, California. and successfully executed the recovery of a downed Navy MH-60S helicopter that had been attempting to recover a civilian hiker with a broken ankle, but unfortunately experienced a hard landing. This mission to lift the 15,200-pound search and rescue helicopter was challenging, specifically due to an altitude of 12,000 feet above sea level. However, the CH-53K successfully performed the mission and proved its efficiency. The big difference with the Kilo is that the engines are so much more powerful that up at those high altitudes, they can still produce the torque required to lift heavy loads uh, without having a lot of decrease in their power up. CH-53K King Stallion is a next-generation heavy-lift helicopter developed by Sikorsky Aircraft, a Lockheed Martin company. The United States Marine Corps, USMC, wants to replace it with the CH-53E and plans to procure 200 CH-53K helicopters at a total cost of $25 billion. The ground test vehicle testing for the CH-53K began in April 2014, whereas the testing began with the maiden flight on October 27, 2015. The Marine Corps received the first CH-53K in May 2018, and it has recently passed the initial operational capability. The CH-53K has undergone several performance tests in more than 1,200 test flight hours. Before every flight, the crew performs pre-flight checks on the helicopter to ensure everything works perfectly. The exterior is inspected thoroughly, the fuselage is examined for leakage, and all the electronic systems are checked by the pilot before takeoff. Once pre-flight inspection is completed, the crew takes off and advances toward the mission location. In addition to external lift capabilities, the CH-53K features an internal cargo bay, which is 30 feet long and 9 feet wide and can carry 35,000 pounds of cargo, such as 463 L pallets, Humvees, and 30 fully equipped soldiers. In addition, the cargo bay facilitates the loading and unloading of cargo without reconfiguring and removing troop seating. The loading and unloading operations are conducted via the rear ramp. 
In 2020, the CH-53K successfully conducted an air-to-air -air refueling AAR test over the Chesapeake Bay with the help of a U.S. Marine Corps KC-130J Super Hercules aerial tanker. The CH-53K repeatedly demonstrated its ability to capture and plug the drogue at increased closure rates, irrespective of the turbulence and the force on the refueling probe. The successful air-to-air -air refueling test ensures that the CH-53K is capable of carrying more Marines, cargo, and equipment over longer ranges and in more challenging environments than any other helicopter in the world. The United States Navy has used helicopters in naval operations since World War II. Since then, Helicopters have become an essential component of naval platforms, such as aircraft carriers, aiding from search and rescue and troop transport to anti-submarine warfare and replenishment operations. Over the years, the United States Navy has used several helicopters, but when it comes to an amphibious assault scenario, the CH-53K has outperformed its predecessors. The powerful engines and lifting capabilities of CH-53K allow the Marines to transport three dozen fully equipped Marines from ships to shore directly on the battlefield. Moreover, the CH-53K can also extract the troops and equipment from the battlefield and bring them back onto the ship. Before using the CH-53K on amphibious assault operations, the helicopter was tested thoroughly to check its efficiency at sea. The CH-53K underwent two weeks of sea trials and completed 364 landings and takeoffs day and night from all nine deck spots and in various wind conditions to showcase its ability to operate from a ship on deployment. These tests were conducted by a team of almost 100 people from Sikorsky, Naval Air Systems Command, NAVAIR, and the Marine Corps' Operational Test Squadron. In 2018, several tests were conducted on the CH-53K King Stallion. And as a result, more than 100 mechanical issues were brought to light. One major concern was that the engines sucked back their dirty exhausts, which led to engine overheating and system stalling. However, in 2020, Sikorsky resolved all of its mechanical issues, and the CH-53K was back in the air. Since then, the U.S. Marine Corps has provided routine maintenance before and after the flight. Initially, the Marines inspect major parts of the helicopter, such as the fuselage, rotor blades, tail boom, and engines. The Marines then repair or replace non-operational parts and ensure the helicopter is ready to take off. The CH-53K can carry massive payloads over long distances, making it an ideal choice for a wide range of military applications. Its cutting-edge design, improved fuel efficiency, and advanced avionics provide mission flexibility and additional situational awareness. It is a clear leader in its class and a vital asset in the current U.S. Air Fleet. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.